Hi everybody. In this video we're going to learn how to make a pyramid of objects in matter.js. So here I have a pyramid of shapes and when I shoot the balls they just they just bounce off or go through the pyramid of circles. So let's see how we can create this pyramid of shapes. So in the first part I just declared all my essential modules and in the second part I created my engine and render. I'm making my pyramid in the setup function because the setup function only runs once and I'm only making one pyramid. And there's basically three steps to make a pyramid. The first step is to set the pyramid options. How will it act? What will it look like? The second step is to define the dimensions of the pyramid. What is the starting location? How many rows and columns? What is the gap between the columns? And what is the gap between the rows? And the third step is to define the shape of what is making up the pyramid. Do you want to make a pyramid of circles, rectangles, polygons? And then you add the pyramid to the world. I've declared a constant for my pyramid options. So pyramid options equals open bracket. So I've set my behavior first, is static, is true. I do not want my pyramid to move. Once it's placed on the screen, it will stay there. And in my render options, I'm setting the fill to pink, the outline to black, and it has an outline width of three pixels. And now I'm going to set up the dimensions of my pyramid. Let my pyramid, my pyramid will hold the pyramid object, matter.composites.pyramid. Pyramid is the method to make a pyramid. The first argument is the X position, so it's 20. And the second argument is the starting Y position, that's 50. And then the third argument is the number of columns, so that's 7. And the fourth argument is the number of rows, that's 5. And then the fifth argument is the column gap, so there's 50 pixels between the columns. And the sixth argument is the row gap, and there's again 50 pixels between the rows. And then we have a callback function. So we're going to pass in the X and Y position for the shape to make the pyramid at that specific location. So let's follow the function after the curly brackets. So it says return matter.bodies.circle. It's going to return the circle X and Y position, the dimensions, here are the radius, and the options for that shape to make it at that specific position in the pyramid. And after the pyramid is laid out, then we're going to add it to the world. So we're going to use the composite.add. Add is the method. We're going to add the objects to this world. So you have to include engine.world. And you have to list your objects in an array if there's more than one. Here I'm passing in two objects, the my pyramid object that I made up here, and the ground object. The ground object is a rectangle I placed at the bottom of the canvas, and I set is static to true because I want it to be fixed, just like the pyramid. And that's all there is to making a pyramid.